students welcome back to gyan niketan girls school in this session i am going to discuss question answers of unit 6 feathered friend let's start with understanding the text the first question what were the two things that made sivan's construction job more difficult does he does the text say whether the hard work worth the trouble children this answer you will find in para 3 sivan's construction job was in space the lack of gravity meant that the construction men would have to execute a skillful ballet mid space in order to get the gitters in their right positions making such maneuvers in a space suit was also a challenge for him but the text suggests that the hard work was well worth the trouble it was rather satisfying to lean back and admire the job they had so skillfully executed let's move on to question number 2 which lines in para 4 and para 6 tell us that clarible had adjusted well to space see the answer clarible was well adjusted to the conditions of space as the author notes in para 4 by saying that she was not worried as most animals would have been by the absence of gravity in para 6 the author tells us that she had understood how to use to her advantage in the absence of gravitational pull and fly around with minimal effort he says hanging in the air as motionless as a hummingbird and with much less effort for her wings were quietly folded along her sides she did a kind of backward backward loop i'm sure no earth bound canary had ever managed let's move on to question number 3 read para 7 again here there are three questions from this paragraph does this paragraph imply that clarible was the first bird in space para 7 seems to suggest that clarible was indeed the first bird in space because otherwise seven would already know the answer to how a bird would operate in a zero gravity condition let's move on to b part of question number 3 why did seven not get into any trouble for sneaking a bird on board the space station see the answer seven didn't get into trouble because there is no rule that explicitly forbids people from keeping pets in a space station seven had also been careful about not admitting the ownership of the canary for several days now children let's come to c part of question number 3 sheer scientific curiosity was part of the reason why seven got clarible onto the space station based on your knowledge of life on space stations can you guess what the other reason was now see the model answer seven's sheer scientific curiosity was perhaps another reason that makes many people keep pets on earth this is the desire 
for companionship. Life in a space station is lonely. One is isolated from friends and family and most of the recreation activities become impossible or difficult to execute in a space station. In such a living condition, the singing of a canary and its bright, chirpy presence can enliven the daily life of the astronauts. Now children, let's move on to question number 4. Question number 4 even has 3 parts A, B and C. Let's see part A. What was wrong with the air in the space station? The portion of oxygen in the air inside the space station had reduced drastically below the optimum level. This had led the speaker to feel rather dizzy and the canary to completely collapse. Let's move on to the B part. How did Claribus unconscious state help the speaker understand what the problem was? See the answer. Claribus was a canary. Canaries are known for their sensitivity to the presence of the toxic gases. Claribus unconscious state and her revival only when exposed to a shot of oxygen reminded the speaker of what he knew about canaries. He understood what the problem was. Now let's move on to part C. Other than Claribus condition, what were the other clues the speaker put together to solve the mystery? This you would find in para 9, 10 and 20. See the answer. Besides Claribus condition, the other clues the speaker put together was remembering how he had slept badly. Waking up rather tired, he had continued to feel sluggish till that point. He also remembered how canaries were carried by miners to warn them of toxic gas. Now children, let's do the last question, question number five of understanding the text. It was one of those accidents that couldn't possibly happen. This is from para 23. What accident is the speaker referring to? Was the accident someone's fault? Who saved everyone from the accident? See the answer. The accident happened as a result of a rare eclipse at the space station cast by the Earth's shadow. This led to the freezing of a part of the air purifier. The single alarm in the circuit failed to go off. The accident was perhaps no one's fault because it was caused due to a natural phenomenon. However, not having set up the second alarm circuit was one of the crew members fault. The speaker marvels at the fact that a little bird saved them whereas an expensive chemical and electronic system failed to do so. Clarible, the canary had saved everyone from the accident. So children, that's the end of understanding the text.